remote ID options for FPV, that coming up right after this. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ryan. On this channel, we do a lot of tips, tricks, and reviews, mostly drone and photography related. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. It's greatly appreciated. So as mentioned in the intro, today we're going to be talking about remote ID for FPV drones. I'll be showing you a few of my favorite modules and ways that you can mount them to your drones. So in front of me, I have four of the most popular remote ID modules. Two of them are self-powered, kind of all-in-one contained units, and two of them require uh, power from your FPV drone. So we're going to be talking about the Drone Tag Beacon, the Holystone Remote ID Module, the Spectrum Remote ID Module, and the Drone Tag BS Remote ID Module. So now the first two that I mentioned, the Drone Tag and the Holy Stone, these do contain their own battery power. They are rechargeable units. Uh, the Drone Tag recharges with US, micro USB and the Holy Stone charges with USB-C. The next two modules, the Spectrum uh, Remote ID module and the Drone Tag BS, they do require power. They do not have a built-in uh, battery at all, uh, so you do need to power these from your drone. So the Drone Tag Beacon, we did develop a couple different mounts for it to be able to get it on your drone. Uh, this is our strap mount. Uh, basically, it's a TPU 3D printed part. You simply slide the Drone Tag Beacon into the mount, and then there is a strap slot on the back that you can then put it on any, uh, just about any strap up to, I think it's 22 millimeters wide. If I, I'm wrong on that, I'll put that up on the screen, um, but it'll fit most, most straps. You just simply slide it through your strap, strap it down. You can put it on top. You can put it on the side if you wish, however you want to do that. So that is our strap module. And likewise, we have that for the Holy Stone module as well. Simply just slide it in like this. And there it is. And again, you have that same slot for your LiPo strap. So this is the Spectrum Remote ID module. We do offer a similar strap mount for that one as well. Um, you just simply slide the module in the thin side in first like that, bend this out of the way, and it pushes down into place. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this does need to be uh, powered by your drone, so you can either solder in one of the provided cables to your flight controller, or we do offer this cable. Uh, this cable connects to your balance lead of your LiPo from a 6S uh, or a 4S, 3S, or 2S model, uh, so you can basically just plug that in to your balance lead on your LiPo pack, and then you would plug the other end into here. Uh, so these are available on our website, linked down in the description below. And lastly, we'll be talking about the Drone Tag BS module. The Drone Tag BS is obviously the lightest of all of them. You can kind of see that here. It's just got a much smaller form factor. Again, this one does need to be powered by your drone. We offer a similar power cable for that one as well, uh, both in, or actually in 6S, 4S, and 3S on that one as well. And that just plugs into the same power port right there on the drone tag. We do offer this mount for it. Again, it does have a strap mount if you want to strap it to the top or side using your LiPo battery strap. This mount also, in addition to the strap mount, has two three millimeter screw holes in it, uh, so you can screw it onto your frame as well. The way this one mounts, you just feed your two antennas through these holes here in the back. You can see those there, um, and you would push that into place, and there it is secured. Uh, to remove it, just use a blunt instrument and push it out like a, a, a hex screwdriver or something like that. Push it out from this side and it'll, you'll be able to pop it out. Don't try to pull it by any of the cables or anything. These, uh, these cables are fairly small and trying to pull it out, you probably wouldn't be able to do it anyway, um, but uh, it's easier just to push it out from this side. 
And the last mount that we're going to talk about today is both for the uh, Holy Stone module as well as the drone tag beacon. It is a screw on type module. There's two three millimeter slots here in the back. Those uh, slots can handle uh, standoffs that are from 18 millimeters apart to 26 millimeters apart. It uh, fits a lot of the most popular FPV frames. Um, that, so that can be screwed back here. Uh, just make sure that you have room for all your gear on top here, or your LiPo, uh, and if you have a uh, GoPro attached, something like that, an action camera, uh, make sure you have room for all those items there. But that just simply screws on there. Once that's screwed on, you just put this in the mount the same way we did the other one. And there it is. And with all of these, the power buttons as well as all the ports are all available on all these different modules. So that is it for this quick video on how to mount a remote ID module to your FPV drone. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I would be glad to help you out. All the products used in today's demonstration are down in the description below. Uh, again, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. So that's it. Film safe, fly safe, and bye for now.